What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We are doing random hard runs, and we are at a five-win streak. Let's keep it going. This will be to tie our record right now, and we get the fucking lost. <clears throat> okay. First run of the day. First run of the day. Don't panic. It's just the lost, man. It's not the keeper. Like, there's the bright side. It's not the keeper. It's just the lost. It's... We can handle this. We've done this before. We have Holy Mantle. We have the D4 in which we will not be using. Okay. All right. Just breathe. Just breathe. By the way, it might sound like I am sick, and I get this a lot. Everybody is always like, hey, man, you sound sick. And I'm like, hey, man, it's just the morning. That's just... I don't know. I guess everybody... This... This... Like, it happens when I stream as well. It's like, if I stream earlier than normal, or like, when I wake up, people are like, Hey, dude, you sound sick. Do you guys just wake up and like, sound like a damn hummingbird? Like, I don't know. Is that, is that a thing? Is that, is, should I be concerned about how I sound in the morning? Or like, I feel like my throat's a little deep, like my voice is a little deeper, throat's not like scratchy, but like, it has a different tone to it, for sure, and uh, I guess sometimes my nose is a little congested. Um, but man, I don't know, that's just uh, forever. That's how I've always known ha how I sound in the morning. But uh, yeah, I am not sick, I'm, I feel fine. Um, I appreciate the concerns, though. Okay, alright, so this is the tie. What is this? What was that? That was weird, wasn't it? I feel like they sh that should have stuck to the other side. Either way, let's get our item room. It is Curse of the Blind, D20, better than the D4. It's actually usable. All right, so we have some lost D20 nonsense going on here. Um, flight, we have to take into consideration we do have flight. It is a huge advantage of being the lost. We could float over things and not get hit as easily. Um, and yeah, we're going to be wanting to shoot this poop and stuff and look for coins that maybe we could D20 into chests or something. Uh, like, we'll D20 that, because that is completely useless to us as the Lost. Although, Tinted Rocks are not completely useless, because we could get, uh, keys or bombs or even chests out of. I'm thinking I'm going to D20 this room, because there's two consumables on the ground. Although money is useful, it's like... Maybe we can get some more money on here and then re-roll, or D20 the whole ground here. I feel like I want to blow up some of these TNTs, just in case. Alright, we got two consumables on the ground here. <clears throat> and we're gonna- okay, three. Let's just do it here. So we're gonna get a little min-maxi, I think. See, we got a chest, which is awesome. And we ended up getting two cents and a bomb out of it. A speed up is great. And then we're gonna get another coin. I'm just gonna pick that up, just because I don't think I'm gonna get another re-roll. Unless we run into a battery of some sort. Um, the- the shop is viable at 10 cents, but we don't have a key. Um, I figured clear this room in case we do get a battery and we could reroll the two consumable room or something. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, we're going to get a little min maxi. Nothing too crazy, but I want to solidify a chance to, to pull out a W here because like I've stated already twice. This would tie our uh, best streak for random runs, which isn't like amazingly impressive, but... You know, personal bests are always impressive, you know? You always want to better yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I mean, since we've wasted a key coming in here, maybe we'll just buy that and then get a key back so we'll have a key for the item room on the next floor. We can't really, uh... We can't really afford missing out on an item room on the next floor. Hey, we got another key. <clears throat> Alright, let's fight our boss. It is going to be Little Horn. Shouldn't be too big of an issue, especially because we could fly here. Try to hit the bombs into him if we can. We also have some bombs of our own, but I don't know if Little Horn is the type of enemy that you really need to bomb. He's not like a... Uh, the mummy or anything like that. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. <clears throat> the good thing about the Lost is... Uh, not only flight, like I mentioned earlier, but unlimited devil deals if you want them. Uh, basically, you could take any devil deal you want without having to sacrifice life because you don't have any life. So, there's that. 
There is that. Okay, he bombed himself finally. Usually Little Horn dies pretty quick. That's because he bombs himself a decent amount. But I'll tell you, when he doesn't bomb himself and you have base damage, it's a uh it's a bit of a marathon fight. He's a little tanky when he doesn't bomb himself. We got growth hormones there. I'm completely okay with growth hormones. Damage up and speed up. Also with syringe, we gotta keep that in mind. Syringes are uh, good because they contribute to spun. Somebody actually commented and asked what spun is. Um, it is uh, Tammy's head or the D20. I mean, the D20 has a lot of more interesting and fun things to do. So I might roll D20, but let's see what the let's see what Tammy's head does here. I didn't want to pick up that coin actually. Okay, we got one kill with it. <clears throat> but yeah, spun it gives you plus two damage and some other attributes i think it's a small speed up um there's some other things that come with it but it is a transformation that you get when you take uh two syringe or sorry three syringes i'm thinking about going back for the d20 right now just because if i'm gonna go through these rooms at least let me get a charge on this and then i could play it i mean like it's the d20 as the lost is really good because soul hearts are useless to you you know, like consumables are good, money's good, but soul hearts are completely useless. So to be able to d20 them into either chess or consumables is very valuable, I think, anyway. <clears throat> it's like completely useless. Um, If we were to pick it up, we would get what? More horsemen? Do we want more horsemen? Not really, not particularly. I mean, like, I i don't mind ball bandages or Cuban meat, but like, we don't need like the uh, pony to fly or anything. So we're just gonna continue on our way. Really unfortunate. Uh, I was gonna say, hopefully that's a joker. It is not. Let's get one more charge on this bad boy. We do have a speed up from uh, not only growth hormones, but we actually took a pill that was a speed up. So <clears throat> we're a little faster than normal early game, which is good. That's a positive. Uh, so in here, there's one. Well, let's try to get some coins on the ground, I guess. And no luck, but there is a tinted rock up here. And we got a secret room out of it as well. And we got our bomb back, which is cool. Uh, I guess I'll just take it. What is happening with these things? <clears throat> I'm going to take these. That's a luck up. That's good. Is there any more consume? Okay, there's two soul hearts here. Let's just reroll these because these are actually useless. Uh, we got two keys out of it. And then we can... Well, I guess the red heart's useless as well. Yeah, so that's why the D20 is, is good. Because it's not only soul hearts, but red hearts are useless. So... Um, we're gonna roll with the d20 because it does give us some more interesting plays Although Tammy's head could be you know a game winner if you get something like brimstone, but <clears throat> It's okay. It's all right. I'd rather be interesting right now <clears throat> Sorry That also happens when I wake up I have to clear my throat like a hundred times and that's probably like the last thing you want as uh, somebody who creates content and uh, uses their voice as like 50% of the uh, entertainment uh, that's yeah, that's something you don't want to happen, but that's just the human body I guess or maybe just my human body as I was saying in the beginning of the episode Maybe it's just me. Um, we'll do it. Like I'm still looking for small rock. I mean d20 plays there would be Valuable, but also the things on the ground right now are valuable. The thing about the d20 is you could always you know, flip the items into something, you know, not pick upable. Like, I could flip a bunch of bombs and keys into red hearts, and it's like, well, it can work the other way. So, when we see the cons consumables we want or we can use, we should just pick them up. Is there a 15 cent item? Piggy bank. I mean, I'll buy it because usually you get your money back with piggy bank. Actually, do you get paid when you get hit? If so, <clears throat> if so, we're not going to get our money back. We will not get our money back if that is the case. And I think it is the case. Okay, sorry. Concentration here is a little real. Uh, they could get a bit... They could, like, start surrounding you and uh, really just kind of come out of nowhere and take the fight over if you're not careful. 
<clears throat> he's not the easiest boss. Definitely not this early in the game. But we managed to survive it. Hopefully get a deal with the devil and not three red chests or Krampus. Uh, we got a range and luck up. Isn't great, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Horror of Babylon is great because I'm be I believe it's always active as the lost. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. We also have the two of diamonds, and yes, it is active. Uh, we also have the two of diamonds, which I'm going to hold on to. Let's see in here again. I mean, we could buy a battery, but we picked up most of the consumables in that room, especially. And we only have a two room charge. I, I don't think it's worth it. Plus, we only have one bomb. I was thinking about getting some money out of the donation machine, but we could just hold on to the two of diamonds. <clears throat> it's not like we had to pull the trigger on the two of diamonds. If we did, um, then I would have blown up the donation machine and then two of diamonds, all that. But that's uh, either here nor there because we didn't we were not faced with that situation or Babylon. Great, great item. We're always going to be in the Horror Babylon state because we are the lost and we do not have uh, health. Speaking of health, hello. Health up, uh, which is useless to us. It's not even like a health up that would, you know, give us another benefit. Uh, no damage up or anything. That was legit just a health up. I could see myself getting cornered there, so I'm going to give myself some space. Play smart. We need, we need to keep the streak going, man. The streak is what matters right now. Uh, random will not get the best of us. It will not get the best of us, I repeat. Um, since we're in here, when in Rome, I knew I was going to get one out of the chest. Uh, but it didn't really pan out. We don't have enough bombs to really make that worth it. Uh, we could wait on that, I guess. The, the best thing that could come out of that is a clean room and we get like a trap door of some sort. But like the bed doesn't matter because it's not like we could sleep and get health. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's best if I just save the two bombs, honestly, at this point. I got to utilize these rocks, especially when the, the boners uh, appear after killing the first stage. Any tin of rocks? No. Item room? No. What is with this? Okay, that that's not the reroll rocks. Um, obviously, we're gonna reroll this item though because we don't need it. I'll take infestation. Uh, I like infestation. I don't think it's gonna be a game-winning item per se right off the bat. But um, the thing is, you can get super greedy with those machines and keep rerolling until you get something that you don't even want to take but have to take. So. I'm not going to press my luck. Basically, we re-rolled once, didn't get any whammies, and uh, I stopped it, you know, put a halt to it. I'm tempted to buy that in case it's a joker. Um, let's just do one here. We only got two cents out of that. It is a joker. Okay. Um, okay. Um. All right. So, I guess... I'm not going to take that. You know what? I think we're we're pretty good right now. I don't want anything that could, you know, hamper our chances here. We got a speed up out of a pill already, so let's just keep it at that. I'm trying to think here. I know I have the two of diamonds, and I know I want to use it as best as I possibly can. But I'm kind of thinking, like, let's just fight the boss room. I don't think we're going to get a deal with the devil, but if we do... If we do, we don't have to worry about what, what kind of Joker plays we do. We could just use the two of diamonds and take the Joker to the next floor. But if we don't, we could use the Joker right away, you know? Uh, might as well, right? Mine is freaking well. That's unfortunate. Okay, sorry, just some concentration. Boss fights as the lost. You do need to, like, I need to really pay attention at times. Hey, we did get a devil deal. That's interesting. Uh, well, devil deal, if you want to call it that. Let's see if we can get a coin out of here so we could reroll at least a couple of them. We can't. But that wasn't bad, I guess. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> the thing is, we're going to be able to get a devil deal on the next floor. Um might end up being an angel deal you know what i mean i guess let's just start taking pills at this point Bested one makes it small. Retro 
Okay, they weren't the worst. What was this one? Retrovision again? We're good. They weren't the worst pills. I mean, it could it could have gone way worse than that. So <clears throat> it is what it is. Hey, there's a chest over here. That's not bad. That's not bad. So we're going to take the Joker down to the next floor because we did get a devil deal. I did not think that was going to happen, but it did. Range down. It is what it is. Uh, there is a library of sorts. Oh, no. This is the bomb room. <clears throat> we have three bombs, so let's just do it. When in Rome, I guess. It is a clean room? Yeah, it is. I couldn't tell because of the Curse of Darkness or whatever we have. It's just a chest, just a gray chest. Is it worth it? Not really. We, that was a net loss of one bomb. I mean, not the best, but not the worst, I guess. Um, let's go down here and I guess try to blow this up one more time. Just get the most out of the two of diamonds as we can. We're up to 39 cents. And obviously you're probably thinking I should have taken PhD before taking mom's bag of pills or whatever um it's a passive so i'm just gonna take it now because it is it will be better in the future i'm trying to think was there a was there a pill up there or something there might have been either way it's not that big of a deal well i'm sure we'll come across more pills in the in the future <clears throat> know what I need? Oh my god, I just thought about this. You know how like radio personnel has like a cough button? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But uh, they do. They have a cough button, basically. <clears throat> basically, when you're about to cough, you hit a button and it like mutes your mic. I need one of those, dude. I need one of those. I could easily set that up on OBS. There's definitely a push to mute thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave this room... Because this could be our D20 room. Like, we can come back to that room and keep re-rolling as much as we possibly can. And try to get something going there. I mean, I'm sure... I, I don't know what could the possibilities could be. Uh, the thing is, if we have... We do have a bunch of keys. So, if we start rolling into gold chests, we can open those gold chests. And then re-roll whatever's in it. And also re-roll the uh, empty chest. Which is usually how you get a 1-up on the D20 game. It's like, you have to... Make sure you could open the chest before you reroll. Open them all before leaving the room, and then you could reroll the empty chest as well. Infested. Okay, I'm not sure why I used my last bomb there. Well, we got one back, and maybe because I figured there's a lot of consumables on that one room, and we'll probably be able to reroll into some bombs. Uh, but that room wasn't like scary or anything, but if we were going to get hit, I could have seen it being on that room. Sometimes if they all trigger their shots at the same time, those guys, uh, it's really hard to get away from all of them. Even when you can fly. All right, there's another key. We're one room away from a reroll. We definitely don't want to, uh, uh, mess that up. Like we want to make sure we get the most of it a reroll. Speaking of rerolls, there's a battery right here. Which is awesome. Definitely be taking that. The Eternal Heart effectively does nothing for us, so I'm not even going to touch it. There's no real reason to. Um, there's another reroll, which is good. And a Mr. Boom. We, I mean, we could just use it here in case there's a trap door of some sort. <clears throat> now, we could D20 this room a little bit. Remember, if there's chests, don't open them right away. Okay. Hmm. One. I, I don't know. Is one re-rolling into a trinket or what? Um, we'll take this and re-roll it again. Just want to hit that and get out of the way and then re-roll. And then we could do it again, but we have to open up the chest after. Like I said, that's how you get that one up on the D20 game. That's how you start multiplying the rooms. Well, I guess not multiplying per se, but uh, I'm not even going to pick up the key that, it's, that it has on the ground there. Okay, I would like to check out this rune to Yera. Oh, dude, this could be kind of lit here. Um, all right. <clears throat> There's potential in this room. Let's see if we can get another natural reroll. 
I'm definitely going to consider that Yara. I'm assuming we're going to have to Joker this time because we got to deal with the Devil uh, last floor, but we didn't pick up anything to build precedent. So I'm, ass I'm assuming our percent right now is low to get a uh, deal with the Devil. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to use the Joker. And when we use the Joker, we'll be able to hold on to Yara if we want to Yara all those trinkets. Or not trinkets, consumables, I guess, and trinket. Um, and then we could, you know, D20 it after doubling it. You know what I mean? I mean, in a D20, like, th what I was kind of getting at before is the upside isn't, like, insanely big. Like, you're basically just going to keep getting a ton of consumables. <clears throat> and for a character like the Lost, the D20, um, it, it, it's interesting because usually with the D20, it's nice to be able to reroll things into Soul Hearts because Soul Hearts are usually a little harder to come by. And they give you survivability. And if you have enough rerolls on the D20, you can always turn them into Soul Hearts. If you keep trying so that's usually the huge upside of it but uh being the loss like i said numerous times it's uh silly in that regard with soul hearts and red hearts but that's not to say we can't get gold chests which pay out with cricket's head or any of the other gold chest items even red chests man so like the d20 does have an upside i'm sorry but yeah you could turn that shit into guppy Let's have a more positive outlook on the D20. I mean, it's fun that we can use this mechanic right now. It's like, I, I feel like when I get my D20, it's never in the best scenario to use it. But uh, this is a good scenario right now. Got to take all the pills. Got to remember that. I normally don't have PhD. Oh, why am I doing that? All right, we didn't fight a room, so it's all good. Okay. Um. So I could Yara, but... <laughs> No, then I would reroll my Joker. Let me see if I need the Joker first. Because if not, I have... N well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to be able to use the Joker here. And that's going to make everything a lot more simple. I did not mean to drop a bomb there. I just want to see what exact floor we were on. It's the Caves too. All right, this fight shouldn't be too, too difficult. Uh, him in his second phase is obviously a lot harder than his first phase, especially when he jumps uh, like that and then gets the tears splashing out. That right there, yep, that's exactly what I was talking about. Okay, a little nerve-wracking there. We didn't get a deal with the devil, but we did get Torn Photo, and we're going to Joker, and we're going to fight Krampus. Completely whiffed on that bomb. It is what it is. Okay, killed Krampus, got lump of coal, which is good. Way better than Krampus said, because we definitely want to continue to roll with the D20. All right, almost ran into that neutral fly. That would have been awkward. Let's just break all this, just in case we do that again. Also, maybe there was coins and stuff. We want to access our shop, I believe. So now it makes the Yara more interesting, because it's like I still don't know if I should pop it right now, but we can always just pick it up and save it. All right, um, hit that as well. See, we could hear all this and then dupe it all. Let's just do it. Why not? Why freaking not? Is there anything I want? I mean, bombs kind of, but I'm assuming I'm going to get bombs out of this reroll. We definitely got bombs out of that reroll. So what I'm going to do now is just leave and make sure that there's no battery down here, because if there's a battery, or if there's a battery in the shop, I definitely want to buy that and be able to reroll that again uh, after I open up the chest. You know the drill by now, I think. We've done it three or four times. Blank card. Blank card. Hmm. Interesting. A little unfortunate we used Yara, because we could have blank card yara Um. Hmm. I'm gonna take charge, baby, for sure. Uh, buy this, and then I guess buy this Suicide King. 
Let's uh, just drop Suicide King. Um, I really believe that I could fat finger that and I do not want to do that. Um, Pandora's box interests me, but <clears throat> I think there was more interesting things there in Charge Baby and another reroll just so we could open up all this stuff. Uh, let's take the coin, I guess. See, there it is. Guppy's head, baby. Guppy's head, baby. Um, is it gonna re-roll it? Either way, I'm gonna roll d20 just because it's been fun, <clears throat> and I don't wanna... Here's the problem. I'm gonna have to pick some of these up to open this one. Okay, left hand. I'm gonna take the left hand. Okay, don't pick it up. Okay, we good, right? It's okay if it re-rolls Guppy's head. We already touched it. It didn't. And now we have a ton of red chests because of left hand. So maybe Guppy's a possibility? Uh, is there a battery? There's not a battery. Okay, so that means we basically just need to open all of these. See if the, any of these runes are any good. I was going to say, please be a per throw, because then we could have re-rolled Guppy's head. So there's no real reason to tiptoe around, though. Card against humanity. Oh, my God. The possibilities, man. Because we can't get another battery, I don't think. Oh, my God. Don't. Don't die on this room. That would be really awkward. Um... To, to get, just make sure we get our Holy Mantle back. All right, so we're going to roll left hand because we did get Guppy's head. And uh, two of diamonds, which is good. What is this? A stars card. Okay. All right, let's just pick up these consumables. The world card is good. Anzus uh, is pretty good as well. It's kind of just like the world card. I mean, I guess we could use this and get into a... Secret room, which these are going to be all good. Except bombs are key. I guess I don't want bombs are key. Telepills. Break the rocks just because we can. Justice. Oh, man, if there's a battery. I guess it really wouldn't have mattered now. We could have re-rolled everything, but... Would it have been worth it? I don't know. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably just take Guppy's head. You know, I don't see... I don't see a real good reason not to. We kind of had our D20 fun. It doesn't get, like, much, much better than this. I mean, it does. It could, obviously. I know a card against humanity. It would give me a lot of poop and then probably be able to reroll a lot of it. Um, but we're just gonna take Vision and be on our way, right? Vision and Guppy's head. There we go. We're good. Uh, we're moving on from the D20. A little sad, but I think Guppy's head, before we can get actually get Guppy, is gonna be a huge help uh, with the flies and dealing damage and clearing rooms. And we do have to remember we are the lost. Like, if we, are, we, if we were somebody that was um, maybe a little more viable in the sense of like survivability i probably would have taken the d20 over guppy's head but we got to remember we are the lost and we are on a five win streak of random runs uh and i want to keep that going i don't want to i don't want to throw it away for some d20 shenanigans to get like 10 extra bombs or something and i do understand the value of the d20 since we've got left hand and we're going for guppy i get that but uh i think we're gonna come across some what? What just happened? Why did we get our charge back? That was kind of strange. Um, we are going to see a lot of red chests just because we have left hand right here and right there. And uh looked like some friendly spiders and flies, which is I. We could build up a bit of a fly and spider army with infestation and the red chest giving us some help uh, along that front as well. That would be good. Yeah, it's giving me a charge, an extra charge in the room. Is that Charge Baby that does that? I thought Charge Baby just helped you get charges dropped on the room. It's kind of strange. I don't really know. 
I don't really know. I mean, that's cool if it gives you a charge mid-room or something. Okay, we did lose a lot of flies there. Might as well just fight Monstro 2 and see what he has to offer. This, this like, room is so much more confusing with these skulls. Like, it's making it so much harder to read where he's actually going to land or jump. And I think he's getting confused because he's shooting Brim when I'm not even, like, on the side of him. Okay, but I could shoot over the skulls. That, that I got to remember. We do have Spectral Tears as the Lost. And we, uh... Got the best of Monstro 2 there. I was kind of interested to see if we were going to get a Devil Deal here, and we did. Pentagram, which is cool. That is a damage up. Razor Blade. Uh, Sister Maggie. I don't think Razor Blade does anything as the Lost. I understand Razor Blade has a synergy with somebody, and it might be the Lost. I'm just a little too nervous to go down that road right now, and everybody might be face palming, being like, dude, you get like X amount of damage up if you use it for free or something. Either way, I do want to roll with Guppy's head because it's done us well uh, thus far. Really pushing for Guppy here. 48 hour energy, we'll just use it. Build some flies, telepills. We'll still roll vision. Um, want my item room, of course. I don't think we're, like, completely out of the woods by any means necessary that we don't have to, like, uh, consider item rooms or go back for item rooms. Infested. Infested. That was a little sketchy room. I mean, there were some enemies that were champions that blew up. We got some brimstone enemies. Uh, glowing hourglass. Turn back time. I think we're good on that. Uh, we do have 60 cents, though, so it would be foolish to not at least check out a shop. For sure. If I could turn back time. All right, let's see what it has to offer. We will be buying this just because why not? Hey, more options. I'll take it. I'll take it. Three more flies for five cents. Why not? A bomb for five cents? Why not? We only have five more bombs. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Um, let's just get out of here. We don't really need to full explore the floor. Let's go down to the depths, too, and see what awaits us. I think we're in a decent position. I mean, that, that freaking Horror of Babylon pickup was like huge in the beginning for sure it gave us that damage boost that we needed to like not rely on getting damage ups from like not only item rooms but boss rooms um it kind of gave us a pass on a couple of floors uh, but here's where i transition into saying that we're gonna need some damage ups unless we run into something like guppy um wasn't sure exactly what pandora's box did on this floor but if it's money, it's money. Um, I'm taking Guppy's head, like I said. Uh, it helps our DPS because it's we're on one of those runs where we're kind of f flying through the depths and definitely flew, f flew through the caves and stuff. Um, but once we hit the womb, it's going to get ugly if we do not get some damage ups. I wonder if those times where I got charges mid-room, Charge Baby dropped a battery and I ran into it like instantly. Maybe that's what happened. Um, so those options are pretty sad. Huh. Not the best. I mean, the gaz is nice. But, like, we don't really have a curse that we should work. I mean, we have curse. You know what? Let's just go use it. <clears throat> Let's just use it right now so we can get some light on the subject. Because we're still going to roll vision. Six bombs. Probably should just hold up on the bombs. We do have a tinted rock here. We don't. We didn't get small rock yet. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I like to see. Succubus and nine lives. We're one item away from Guppy. Not only that, we got Succubus. 
Uh, granted, that other worm spawned because we teleported out. It is what it is, though. Uh, worth it. Very worth it. <clears throat> Nine lives as the lost is uh, quite amazing because you retain Holy Mantle, and there's Guppy right there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's all coming up Millhouse, I think, would be an understatement at this point. It is... Uh, Wow, that worked out really well. We we should be fine. This should be a W. I mean, it's always sketchy to call one run as the loss. Because nothing is uh, really locked down. But we're in a really good spot. A really good spot. And you might be saying, well, that's because of RNG, Jay. Of course you're in a good spot. Yes, and I do believe that sometimes you get very lucky in, in uh, Isaac. But... All, all I ever say about that is like you have to live long enough you have to live long enough in Isaac to become to see yourself become lucky you know what I mean and I know I completely left I completely didn't go to the item room there which was oh no I did I did wasn't it the prayer card in Game Boy I think it was I think I'm fine um another red chest which actually reminds me I'm gonna drop the left hand because it's not like uh it's not like Soul Hearts is going to help us out that much, so there's no point, really. I can see forever. forever. Okay, two keys there. Um, so we're on the Womb 1. I'm going to say Vision to the Womb 2, just because I don't like the Womb. And if I can get out of Womb 1 fast here, which we kind of skip through a uh, secret room, so maybe we can get to the end quick if we're lucky. We are building quite the fly army. Uh, Algiz, you know what? Just to, just to secure it, let's just roll with Algiz. We're going to be able to use this against Isaac. Or hold it even to the chest for a hard room, like a double cage or double adversary or something. All right. Let's go fight. Uh, well, that was very fast bloat did not stand a chance we got an hp up which is useless and we will take this guppy's tail satanic bible use the satanic bible why not even though it does nothing roll guppy's head because uh satanic bible wouldn't do anything for us and guppy's head is just adding to our amount of flies um let's go to the right here What's this? We should... No, I was going to say we should vision now, but I forgot we kind of used that last time. It's all right. At least we have Algas. Uh, even though I don't think Isaac is really going to stand a chance, we're pretty damn OP right now. Not only are we guppy, but we have, like, a decent amount of damage up. So we have Horror Babylon. Uh, yeah, we are completely rolling right now. We're getting a ton of chests. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like this room at all. Either way, I mean, we have nine lives. We would have nine or eight more opportunities to, to figure that room out. And I think we would have been okay. But I'd rather not lose a life. I'd rather just continue uh, on our way here. Oh, I was like, is mom's hand about to come down? What's happening? <clears throat> Grab, <clears throat> excuse me. Grab that key because we do have Guppy's tail. Guppy's tail gives us more chest, and uh, when we're on the chest, we're going to be able to want to open up all the items to create some sort of synergy. The world card, yes. We will use the world card. I'll take the algas, and we'll get out of here, and straight up is the way to uh, the uh, finish line and the it lives fight. Succubus also huge pickup. I mean, we got him pretty late, but he is just like the icing on the damage cake. Uh, there was two troll bombs there in the same exact spot. That was a little weird. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. I digress. I digress. Wow, the flies just melted that Loki. I mean, I don't want to use all my flies here. Like, if possible, it would be nice to save some of them. If we stay far enough away, not all of them will float into him. Okay. I mean, he, mom is, or it lives his half health already. 
which is good. And that's gonna do it for the It Lives fight, and then up to the cathedral. <clears throat> Take a drink of the coffee there. <clears throat> Curse of the Unknown, I'd say. Curse of the Unknown. Get some flies built up. Fight death. I mean, hey, man, we tie... We, I mean, I don't want to call it right now, but we do have nine lives. <clears throat> but tying the freaking record uh, random streaks feels good. Feels really good. I mean, like I said numerous times, six is nothing amazing. But I want you guys to try it yourself. Like, if, if you uh, play Isaac, try random streaks. Try it. It's uh, it's not easy. Um, and I'd be interested to see hear some of your numbers. Because I'm assuming a lot of people haven't tried random streaks. I know um, there's probably a lot of you that are just trying to fill out the post-it notes and stuff. Which is awesome. Like, I'm jealous of you. Because that is, like, the most fun part of Isaac. Is to get the accomplishments and uh, fill out the endings and all that. But, like, if you've already done that, or, like, you want to break from it, try some random streaks, for sure. And a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, a couple of people were like, hey, man, it's, why don't you just pick whatever character you want? It, I, I, I don't really know how to respond to that, but, like, I, I like the challenge of random. Like, I might complain about getting the keeper or the loss, but that's all in good fun. Like, that's, that's the reason um, I do it is because I, I kind of want the uh, to face adversity of getting certain characters and overcoming that. Uh, if I were to be able to pick my own character for streaks, I wouldn't feel as... Um, it wouldn't feel as noteworthy if I was like, yeah, man, I got like a streak of 30 and I picked all my own characters. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense, but it makes sense in my head. So yeah, like, I mean, I have the algas, <clears throat> but if I could save it for a tough chest room, I will do that instead. I mean, I think Isaac is probably one of the harder bosses, if not the hardest boss. Uh, but by the time you get to Blue Baby, like, you already have a ton of items at that point because of uh, the chest. Uh, but if you run into a double adversary room or, or a four cage room, one of those, like, I would love to use algas there. <clears throat> okay, I think that's Taurus. If it is, uh, whatever it is, I'm not gonna touch it because I'm not gonna risk it. Um, but yeah, De not like a great chest by any means, item wise. But we do have Guppy's tail, and uh, we should probably get more chests. I think that's Virgo. I'm not sure if it is. Here's the uh, vaunted double adversary room that I was talking about. <clears throat> and I popped the algas because I don't want to lose a life. Like, if I could go out there and not lose a life, that would be awesome. We don't have the algas for another room now, but we should still be okay. We got a little chubby. A little chubby's good. Not really, but, you know, at least I could pick it up and use it. It's kind of what I meant by good. Did I not kill that skeleton? Oh, don't do that. Oh, I thought it was going to trap me. Thought it was gonna trap me, mate. <clears throat> Flies did some work there. Um, that's another one. We need one more for spun. Another uh, syringe for spun, because we definitely got growth hormones. That was like the first uh, item we got. Three Lokis. Three Loki. Mm -hmm. Oh, piercing shots. Something we don't have. That's that's good. I'm into that. I'm assuming down here. Death slowing us up. Just tearing through death right there. He ran right into the flies. That's probably not a good idea. <clears throat> so up it was. It wasn't down. Unfortunately, here it looks a little dicey. There is another. Yeah, I was gonna say if that's a blow and not a peep, we're effed. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna be able to manage here. We're gonna be just fine. Definitely a difficult room, though. Uh oh. 
Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Not after all we've been through, run. Okay, we already killed one. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. Had to concentrate a little bit. Because that, that's definitely... Hey, look at that. We got spun. Got freaking spun, boys. Now we're going to be completely tearing through these enemies. Especially our flies. Holy hell. Nothing to worry about, boys. Nothing to worry about. We lost two lives, but we still have seven to go. Uh, I mean, if things get that ugly, then yes. I do not deserve to win the run, I guess. But... We gonna be just fine. Just fine. Um, wow, we are going all the wrong ways, I guess. Virgo. Maybe left? At this point, I'm second guessing all my freaking moves on the map. I love the little Isaac guy in there. <laughs> it's so freaking cute. Pay to win? I mean, it's novel. Why not? We already are creating flies because of Guppy, so let's just, uh... Let's use pay to win. Let's see what happens. Easy. Easy peasy. Hey, Daddy Longlegs. Love that guy. Love that guy. <laughs> Pay to win is too good. Let's just pay to win it out. Pay to win it out. So many familiars all of a sudden. Hey, we got conjoined. There it is. Think we'll be able to do it? Nah. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. Unfortunately, I would love to pay to win it out. That would be awesome. Nope. Came up short. It is what it is. We're just like probably 20 cents off of being able to do it. But... Speaking about being able to do it, that is going to do it for this episode, and that is a win as the loss. That is going to extend our streak to six, and I uh, hope you join me next episode to see if we could break our record of six, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It does help me out. Till next time, stay safe, stay up, peace out.